Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land 2 Peerless Tang Men based on novel. So let's start. Teacher. The youth bowed respectfully towards Fan Yu. Fan Yu pointed at Hu Yu Hao and said, Go and fire a round of the stationary soul cannon. Let this kid support you and try to hit a moving target. Yes. The tanned youth didn't ask any questions. He smiled simple-mindedly at Hu Yu Hao and said, Little brother, follow me. Ju Yi said, Hu Yu Hao, just use that skill of yours to support him. Yes. Hu Yu Hao now somewhat understood why Ju Yi had brought him here. He hurriedly chased after the tanned youth, Nice to meet you, little brother. My name's Hikai Tu, but everyone simply calls me Kai Tu. Thus, you can just call me Kai Tu. The tanned youth gave Hu Yu Hao another simple-minded smile. Hu Yu Hao replied, Nice to meet you, big brother he. I'm Hu Yu Hao. When he said the three words, big brother he, he Kai Tu became stunned for a moment. After he'd recovered, he gave Hu Yu Hao a big thumbs up and said, Little brother, you're not bad. Even future historians wouldn't know that the friendship between eyes of the Azura, Hu Yu Hao, and origin of destruction, he Kai Tu had actually started from a simple sentence like this. When the two had arrived at the edge of the testing field, he Kai Tu tapped the black belt on his waist, causing a light to flash, and an item that was extremely strange looking, in Hu Yu Hao's opinion, appeared in his hand. It was a roughly 1.5 meter long tube made of black metal. Its cross-sectional diameter was around 15 centimeters, while its tail was slightly thicker. It had many mysterious patterns carved on it. He Kai Tu held it in an extremely proficient manner. After pressing the back of the metal tube with his right hand twice, a cover immediately came off, revealing a hole that was approximately 20 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. He quickly tapped his waist with his left hand once again, causing a shuttle-shaped piece of metal to appear in his hand. He carefully placed it into the exposed hole in the metal tube, before carefully putting the cover back on. When he raised his right hand, the metal tube landed on his right shoulder. He Kai Tu, who'd previously given off an extremely simple feeling, suddenly had a large change in temperament when he raised the metal tube to his shoulder. Hu Yu Hao's martial soul was a spiritual type 1, Thus his keen level of awareness caused him to feel a strong sense of danger from Hikai Tu all of a sudden. Hu Yu Hao, let's start. Hikai Tu's voice echoed out. A golden light flickered through Hu Yu Hao's eyes, and his spiritual detection sharing accurately landed on Hikai Tu's body. Hikai Tu's eyes exuded a trace of astonishment, and he excitedly shouted into the distance, moving target, fire. There seemed to be someone controlling the targets from the other side. With a swoosh, a disc-shaped object shot out from a corner in the distance, and was headed directly towards Hu Yu Hao and He Kai Tu. At that moment, a strong undulation of soul force instantly exploded from He Kai Tu's body. Three soul rings, two yellow and one purple, all simultaneously flashed, and the metal tube on his shoulder seemed to tremble slightly. A strong halo of black light began to revolve around the surface of the metal tube, and He Kai Tu's body gently moved. The metal tube was now aimed at the round disc flying towards them at high speed, bang, a violent explosion echoed out, and the metal tube instantly released a dazzling black light. The huge amount of turbulence that suddenly appeared caused Hu Yu Hao to stumble and almost fall down. However, the black light didn't hit the flying round disc. Instead, it brushed past it and flew into the distance. After it had traversed a hundred or so meters, it collided fiercely with a metal plate in the distance causing a violent explosion to erupt. An enormous stream of air rebounded straight towards them, causing Hikai Tu to quickly move to protect Hu Yu Hao behind him. The air current lasted a few seconds before it gradually calmed down. On the other hand, the round disc didn't fly out of the testing area, but rather landed near them. Fan Yu and Zhu Yi had already walked over. Zhu Yi's expression was slightly ugly, while Fan Yu looked as if he'd thought of something. He quickly asked Hu Yu Hao, Hu Yu Hao, how large is the range of your spiritual detection? Hu Yu Hao answered, it has a diameter of 30 meters or so. Fan Yu suddenly understood what had happened as he said, so that's the case. No wonder this happened. After all, this is still only a soul skill from a 10-year soul ring. For it to have such profound detection capabilities within a fixed range is already relatively amazing. 
We can't ask for too much either. Only, this is rather unfortunate. Hu Yu Hao suddenly said, Teacher Fan Yu, the range of my spiritual detection will increase as my soul rank increases. Fan Yu was stunned. That's impossible. How could a soul skill evolve? Hu Yu Hao said with a serious countenance, It's really true. This skill's range has already increased by one meter since I obtained it. Furthermore, I don't have complete control over it right now. Perhaps in the future, I'll be able to reduce its omnipresent range, and instead increase its range in only a single direction. Hui Yu Hao was already acutely aware as to why Zhu Yi had brought him here, as well as what she'd said during the following conversation. This could be an opportunity for him, although he wasn't clear on what this opportunity was. However, assuming that it was an opportunity he couldn't give up on, he decided to tell the truth. Fan Yu glanced at Zhu Yi, who nodded slightly back at him. Fan Yu replied, fine. If the range of your spiritual detection sharing is able to reach a hundred meters in one direction, come find me. When that happens, I'll teach you how to make soul tools. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Hui Yu Hao hurriedly bowed in respect. Fan Yu waved his hand and said, Kai Tu, go over and explain to him what a stationary soul tool is. Sure. He Kai Tu had an extremely good impression of Hui Yu Hao. He beckoned to him as he walked over to the side. Ju Yi said, I've just met this kid, so I can't say much about him. However, you should have seen it. Although his cultivation isn't strong, and even though his physique is rather weak, his temperament is much more mature than that of his peers. If it were anyone else, they definitely wouldn't have said what he just said. I'll help you watch over him. However, if he can't pass the tests I give him, I'll still expel him. Rules can't be broken. Fan Yu thought to himself for a second, then said, help me observe him a bit more. Even if he can't pass the Martial Soul Institute's tests, I can still specially invite him to the Soul Engineering Institution as long as his spiritual detection sharing is able to continue improving. I've already devoted 10 years of my life to researching stationary soul tools. After combining that with the experiences of my predecessors, I finally managed to develop the most terrifying kind of soul tool. Currently, all I lack are users for it. Ju Yi sighed lightly and said, you shouldn't be too stubborn either. In addition to the lack of users for it, there's also another fatal flaw, its manufacturing cost is extremely high. You of all people should know that. It's destined not to be used in a large-scale manner. Fan Yu unyieldingly replied, Soul tools are powerful weapons meant for a small number of especially outstanding soul masters in the first place. When I conducted my research on stationary soul tools, I never even thought of spreading them out into the community of common soul masters. As long as an extremely small number of soul masters are able to use them, stationary soul tools will become our academy's true ace in the hole. Big Brother He, what exactly are stationary soul tools? Hui Yu Hao had a curious look on his face as he asked He Kai Tu. He Kai Tu chuckled and replied, There are many different types of soul tools. However, I can't tell you about all of them in the short period of time we have. For starters, there are two main types of soul tools, short-range soul tools and long-range soul tools. Of these, short-range soul tools are similar to the weapons that we normally use, they're weapons that will explode with even more power when you pour soul force into them. When you compare them to long-range soul tools, they are slightly stronger. On the other hand, long-range soul tools are a type of soul tool that unleash long-range attacks by pouring soul force into them. The stronger the soul tool, the more soul force required. This means that soul masters with stronger levels of cultivation can use higher quality soul tools. Hui Yu Hao, let's go. At that moment, Ju Yi's voice echoed out. Hui Yu Hao said to He Kai Tu. Big brother He. I'll be going first. It was a pleasure to meet you. He Kai Tu chuckled and replied, You're a new student, work hard. It'll be good if you're able to become my junior brother in the future. Teacher doesn't normally let me leave this place. It's too boring. After leaving the soul tool testing area, Ju Yi took Hui Yu Hao straight back to the dorms. Hui Yu Hao, you heard what teacher Fan Yu said earlier. I can only tell you that he's the number one master at creating soul tools in the academy. If you're able to become his disciple, you'll have an endless future. However, you'll first need to be able to stay within the academy. Go on, go eat lunch. 
After watching Ju Yi leave, Hui Yu Hao went straight to the canteen. The students from the other classes had already finished their classes, so the entrance to the canteen was filled with several people both entering and leaving the canteen. Teacher Xiao Yae Tang Yae had a somewhat mysterious smile on her face as she pulled Hui Yu Hao over to the side and whispered to him, Little Yu Hao, you don't have any money, right? Hui Yu Hao nodded. That's right. Eldest senior brother told me that there were some jobs that I could take for the academy if I needed some though. I was planning to see what was available after class. His yearly tuition was 10 gold coins. At the same time, there were daily expenses that he'd need to spend money on. Although he was willing to spend all of his energy cultivating, he still needed to stay alive. Tang Yae giggled and said, You're a disciple of my Tang sect, so as your teacher, it's only right that I take care of you. I've thought of a way for you to make money. I know the auntie who's responsible for buying food for the canteen, I'll help you ask her to buy 20 fish every day. Afterwards, I'll help you set up a grill outside, along with help you obtain some charcoal. I've also prepared some other ingredients. It should be fine if you just sell roasted fish by the academy's entrance after school. With your cooking skill, you'll definitely be able to sell them off. These fishes normally cost around one copper coin, but after you've finished roasting them, selling them for five copper coins won't be a problem at all. If we do it this way, won't you be able to make some money? Hui Yu Hao's eyes lit up. Teacher Xiao Yae, that's a pretty good plan. I have my spirit eyes, thus I'm able to very accurately control the fire. Why don't we try this out tonight? Tang Yae nodded her head repeatedly. Afterwards, she revealed her true intentions. About that, since I'll have helped you by all of these things, you'll have to give me priority when you're selling the roasted fish. Don't worry, I'll still buy them from you. As for your future ingredients, you'll have to buy them yourself. Ever since she'd eaten Hu Yu Hao's roasted fish that day, she'd constantly thought about it. After finishing her exams yesterday, she'd finally thought of this method that would benefit them both. Naturally, she'd hid this from Bei Bei. When he saw Tang Yae's greedy expression, Hu Yu Hao finally understood her motive behind doing this. He gave her a knowing smile and said, Fine. Teacher Xiao Yae, why don't we meet here tonight? Yes, yes. I'll go back first. Right, I have to tell you a piece of good news. Bei Bei and I have both been promoted to year four. Tang Yae waved to him goodbye and excitedly ran away. After grabbing a simple lunch, Hu Yu Hao returned to the dorms. Wang Dong wasn't there and no one seemed to know where he'd gone. Ju Yi still wanted to drill them in the afternoon, so Hu Yu Hao took advantage of their afternoon break to enter a meditative state. As he cultivated, he simultaneously recovered his physical strength. Hu Yu Hao's was surprised when he cultivated. After the extremely taxing run that morning, he discovered that the growth was slightly greater than normal. Although it was only a strand more, he was still quite satisfied. He inwardly thought to himself, it seems like tempering my body to the limit boosts the growth of my soul force. On the other hand, the physical fitness level of his body was originally very normal, so he should have tempered his body anyway. This was killing two birds with one stone, when Hu Yu Hao woke up from his meditation, he was stunned in that the instant that he opened his eyes, he discovered Wang Dong, who was sitting on the opposite bed, looking at him with a brilliant gaze. You've returned. We should go to class now. Whilst speaking, Hu Yu Hao jumped off the bed and began to put his shoes on. After what had happened that morning, their relationship had already warmed up. Wang Dong spoke in a low voice, Hu Yu Hao, I've always found your martial soul strange. You've seen my martial soul now, so can you tell me what your martial soul is? Hu Yu Hao finished putting on his shoes, then stood up and said, My eyes are my martial soul. I call them spirit eyes. They are a spiritual type martial soul. I know why you're baffled. My first soul skill is called spiritual detection. The reason why you were unable to hit me that day was because I used spiritual detection to predict your every move. Wang Dong suddenly understood what had happened. So that's the case. I didn't think that you actually had a body spirit. Let's go, we can't be late. Earlier, I went and asked around. I discovered that teacher Ju has the nickname Perverted Grandma. The number of students expelled by her every year is supposedly equivalent to that of 10 other teachers. We really have bad luck, 
having a teacher like her in charge of our class. Hui Yu Hao shook his head and smiled. You can't think about it that way. Teacher Ju is indeed strict, but as long as we demand the same level of strictness from ourselves, meeting her demands won't be that hard. Right, I've seen your martial soul, but I don't know its name. I also saw that you had a yellow and a purple soul rings. How did you manage to get a thousand-year soul ring for your second soul ring? Wang Dong laughed mischievously and said, Being able to use a thousand-year soul ring as my second soul ring is a secret. I can't tell you how. On the other hand, my martial soul is the radiant butterfly goddess. It's the most beautiful butterfly on the continent, but it's already on the verge of being extinct. Having it as my martial soul is even rarer than your body soul. You'll see its power in the future. Right, what did teacher Ju take you to do earlier? The two had already left their dorm and were headed towards the teaching buildings as they spoke to each other. It wasn't just them, none of the students in class one dared to be late. Hui Yu Hao didn't conceal the fact that teacher Ju had brought him to see teacher Fan Yu, there was no need to hide something like this from him. Thus, he told Wang Dong everything that had happened. What? You can even share your spiritual detection. Quickly, let me see. After all, everyone here was only eleven or twelve years old. Due to his curiosity, Wang Dong excitedly asked for Hui Yu Hao to share his spiritual detection with him. Hui Yu Hao felt helpless and had no choice but to activate his spiritual detection sharing and let Wang Dong experience it for a moment. Due to everything within the surrounding 30 meters suddenly becoming clear, as well as the data-like feedback, Wang Dong immediately turned slightly blank. It was akin to the feeling a blind man would get when he was suddenly able to see the world clearly. This feeling of shock would appear in every soul master who shared Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection for the first time. Furthermore, as Hui Yu Hao continuously used his spiritual detection sharing, his proficiency in it would gradually increase. As he allowed Wang Dong to experience it, he couldn't help but think of Fan Yu's words. He subconsciously attempted to extend his spiritual detection in one direction, then did his best to cover a slightly larger area with his spiritual detection. After Wang Dong took a moment to recall what had happened, he said, I wasn't paying too much attention, but it seemed to be about 50 to 60 meters. However, I noticed that I wasn't able to see anything with spiritual detection in the other directions. The distance nearly doubled in the front, but that was it. When he heard what Wang Dong had said, Hui Yu Hao's spirits immediately rose, so much so that even his exhaustion decreased by a large amount. That's great. It actually works if I do it like this. However, the drain on my spiritual energy is a bit too much. When he tried to focus the range of his spiritual detection in one direction and extend it, the drain on his spiritual energy was almost ten times the normal cost. This was why his spiritual energy had become overdrawn in such a short period of time. However, Hui Yu Hao believed that the reason behind the large drain of spiritual energy was because this was the first time that he'd tried doing this. He believed that he'd get better at it if he practiced more in the future. Teacher Fan Yu had said that he could become his disciple once the range of his spiritual detection was able to reach a hundred meters in any single direction. After seeing the terrifying might of soul tools, as well as hearing Kaitu's introduction to them, he was filled with interest towards these mysterious existences. First Year Class 1 All 91 students were already seated in class 10 minutes before the afternoon bell had rung. Furthermore, there was an unusual silence amongst the classroom. None of the students dared to cause any noise. This is probably why it was said, it's not a bad thing for a teacher to be strict sometimes, since making students study seriously has many advantages. Since they didn't have assigned seats, Wang Dong and Hui Yu Hao sat together. The two who were only 11 years old were unexpectedly deep in thought. Hui Yu Hao was naturally pondering both his successes and failures when he changed the direction of his spiritual detection. No one knew what Wang Dong was thinking about. As Ju Yi slowly walked into the classroom, the atmosphere within class one turned solemn. Hui Yu Hao and Wang Dong also awakened from their pondering. Although not much time had passed, Hui Yu Hao had already recovered a great deal of his spiritual energy and soul force, mostly because he didn't have that much soul force to begin with. At the very least, he didn't feel weak anymore. Wang Dong. Ju Yi called out. Present. Wang Dong took a step forward. 
Judy spoke to the students. I've flipped through your entrance test results, and I've added them to the test that we performed this morning. Currently, out of all of you, Wang Dong has the highest level of cultivation. Because of this, I hereby declare that he'll be the class monitor of class 1 from now on. The class monitor position is a volatile one, and whoever has the strength to beat him may do so and replace him as the new class monitor. Do you all understand? We understand. The gazes from a few male students, who had a high amount of self-confidence in their strength immediately turned sharp, while the gazes from the female students seemed to become much warmer, as they looked at Wang Dong. Zhu Yi pointed towards the iron chains in front of her. These are suits of chainmail specialized in strengthening your physical fitness. Every single one of you will take one. After you've put them on, start running around around the plaza. You'll keep running from now until the bell signaling the end of class rings. You can use your soul force, but you can't use any soul skills. Your rank will be based on the number of laps that you've completed at the end of class, and the person in last place will be expelled from class 1. There's something I need to emphasize. In my class, eliminations won't just happen during exam periods, they can happen at any time. Today, 91 people will become 90 people. Start running. After she finished speaking, she flicked her toe, and a full set of chainmail made out of thick iron chains flew towards Wang Dong. Wang Dong hurriedly caught it and put it on. As soon as he got the chainmail on, he couldn't help but slightly change his expression. This chainmail weighed at least 15 kilograms. When the students heard that the person in last place would be eliminated, how could they dare to waste any time? They all ran up and grabbed a set of chainmail. The male students were slightly better off, while a majority of the female students turned pale after putting the heavy chainmail on. Jui coldly said, I know that a lot of you want to say that this is unfair because there's an innate gap between the bodies of men and women. That the physical fitness levels of tool, beast, and battle soul masters are different. However, I want to tell you that I treat everyone equally in my class. Think about it. If you were on the battlefield, would your enemy spare you simply because you're a girl or a tool master? Start now. Run. No matter how much they wanted to curse at Ju Yi, none of the students dared to speak a word of protest. With Wang Dong leading, they collectively ran towards the edge of the field and started running with heavy chainmail on their bodies. Nobody wanted to be eliminated. Once they started running, the vigor with which they ran was completely different compared to that morning. Wang Dong took the lead and ran in front. No matter whether it was his martial soul or his soul force, he was figure that excelled within the group of students. Although he was wearing a suit of chain mail, his speed didn't decrease in the slightest. The female students who wanted to compete with him also charged forward, closely following him. Hui Yu Hao didn't speed up. He was very clear about his body's situation. Ju Yi had said that they had to run until the bell rung, yet the afternoon class was nearly four hours long. It had just started. The most reasonable target that he'd formulated for himself was to persevere and to simply run until the, the bell rang, not to compete with the others. Thus, his speed was clearly much slower than the others when he started. Hui Yu Hao looked on as everyone overtook him one by one, but he didn't become impatient. His steps were slightly slower, but they were stable and uniform as he ran forward. After only two laps, Hui Yu Hao was dead last. Even the female students had overtaken him. However, he didn't take it to heart. When he reached his fourth lap, the person in first place, Wang Dong, had already lapped him once. When Wang Dong passed him, he even gave him a flabbergasted look. However, Hui Yu Hao didn't take it to heart, and smiled at him in reply. Zhu Yi expressionlessly stood in the middle of the plaza, as she watched the students run. No one knew what she was thinking. The female students who'd followed Wang Dong from the start had started to fall behind. Some had even been overtaken by the students behind them. Drops of sweat seeped into the running track. After around an hour had passed, a female student who had a weaker body collapsed to the ground. She struggled to get up, but she couldn't do anything. Wang Dong happened to be running next to her when this happened. He helped her up and sent her an inquiring gaze. However, that female student shook her head and sat down on the plaza, unwilling to get back up. She didn't even have the energy to speak. With the first, the second was bound to happen. 
Perhaps it was because they had the cushion of Hu Yuhao, who was dead last. Although the students persevered, in the end, their willpower didn't seem to be too strong. The burden of carrying the heavy chainmail whilst running was truly enormous. This was especially true since everyone had started running at full speed, which had quickly depleted their cell force. On the other hand, withstanding the weight of the chainmail with their bodies alone was truly something strenuous at their age. When two hours had passed, half of the students had collapsed to the ground. From the beginning to the end, Ju Yi had stood there with an expressionless face. She hadn't urged them to continue either. Hui Yu Hao was also reaching his limit. Although he decided to run with a constant speed, which meant that the drain on his physical strength was the lowest, his soul force was still the weakest amongst the people present, and his physical strength wasn't that much different either. Being able to persevere until now was already quite difficult for him. If you looked at it from the viewpoint of the number of laps that he'd completed, he was no longer the last, due to the fact that he'd managed to persevere for a longer time than some. When everything in front of him started to turn black, he suddenly felt that there seemed to be a lump of fire within his stomach that was burning. He was extremely parched, and the stickiness he felt from the sweat all over his body was hard to bear. As the heavy chainmail ground against his skin through his school uniform, bursts of scorching pain passed unceasingly through his body. Not good, I can't hold on any longer. A voice continuously echoed out in Hui Yu Hao's mind. He activated his soul force and poured it into his spirit eyes with much difficulty. A refreshing feeling spread out from his spirit eyes, causing him to sober up a little. This won't do, I can't collapse like this. I will definitely persevere. As he looked at the many students running in front of him, he thought about the increase in cultivation speed that he'd experienced that afternoon after the extremely large drain to his soul force. Hui Yu Hao suddenly bit his tongue, rousing himself to continue running. At this moment, he suddenly felt a comfortable, warm feeling spread out from his lower abdomen. Although his soul force had already almost been exhausted, the warm feeling flowed slowly through his limbs and bones, causing his aching muscles to feel slightly alleviated. This is the power of the mysterious heaven technique. Hui Yu Hao quickly recognized the source of the warm current. After cultivating the mysterious heaven technique, it would gather in his lower abdomen at the very end. Although the time he'd spent cultivating the mysterious heaven technique so far was still short, he still had a foundation of soul force, after all. After converting his previous soul force into the mysterious heaven techniques, he could be considered to have completed the first layer of the mysterious heaven technique. Both his eldest senior brother and the Sky Dream Ice Worm had said that the mysterious heaven technique was very suitable for him, since it could nourish his passageways. Was it finally displaying its effects? As he pondered the matter, Hui Yu Hao's consciousness very naturally followed the passageways of the mysterious heaven technique, and felt it out for a moment. He didn't sense any obstructions, and the warm feeling within his lower abdomen wandered around his passageways, following his consciousness. Hui Yu Hao saw that it was a weak trace of the mysterious heaven technique's soul force. Only, it would slowly spread into his passageways as it traveled, which was also the reason behind the warm feeling. The thing that astonished him even more was that his passageways were actually absorbing these strands of soul force at an extremely rapid pace. This was also the source of the comfortable feeling he'd felt earlier, which had in turn relieved his weariness. Hui Yu Hao's natural physique wasn't that good, but he was still quite smart. The fact that the mysterious heaven technique could be absorbed by him when his body reached its limit signified that he could also circulate it while moving, not just when he was meditating. The circulation of the mysterious heaven technique under these circumstances was slightly different than when he was normally cultivating. The speed at which his soul force increased in strength wasn't high, but its integration with his body was much more intimate. With this discovery, Hui Yu Hao hurriedly concentrated whilst simultaneously slowing his steps. He quietly started to circulate the mysterious heaven technique. The Tang sect's mysterious heaven technique had been brought over from another world by the first-generation Tang sect master, Tang San. From a certain standpoint, it wasn't a technique that belonged to the Doluo continent, but was definitely a top-notch technique. It had extremely large benefits towards the nourishment of one's body. Due to an accident, Hui Yu Hao had actually created a method of circulating the mysterious heaven technique without entering a state of meditation. When it was circulated like this, the main effect of the mysterious heaven technique 
would be to nourish one's body by using soul force to nourish the passageways. Due to the progressive recovery that resulted from the circulation process of the mysterious heaven technique, a miraculous cyclical state had formed within his body. This could be considered cultivation while moving. Hui Yu Hao didn't know it, but even the first generation sect master of the Tang sect, Tang San, hadn't managed to achieve this. The reason behind this was simply because he'd had richly endowed advantages. Hui Yu Hao's cultivation, on the other hand, was still weak, which was the reason why his body was able to reach such a state, where it was at its limit. Furthermore, both his spiritual energy being very strong, combined with his possession of a spiritual type martial soul, made it so that he could sense and manipulate the miraculous energy. The Tang sect had birthed many experts, but none of them had possessed the conditions that the current Hui Yu Hao had. After they became strong, they wouldn't easily reach their limits, and they wouldn't carefully sense the warm feeling that appeared in their dantians. It could be said that an evolution of the mysterious heaven technique had appeared in Hui Yu Hao's body. With the harmonization of this warm feeling, Hui Yu Hao's body, which had originally reached its limit, was relieved of its exhaustion by a certain amount. Not only did this strengthen his willpower, it also made him pour more of his spiritual energy into guiding this warm feeling. The warm feeling circulated around his body, following the circulation path of the mysterious heaven technique. When it completed an entire cycle, the strand would be almost fully drained. However, it was also at the moment that the cycle was completed that the warm feeling would be slightly strengthened once again, and would continue to move forward. Hui Yu Hao's body was getting more and more exhausted, but he was getting more and more excited. The mysterious heaven technique's nourishment of his passageways under his current state was exactly what he needed the most right now. His thin passageways, which he'd previously needed extreme care to handle, became more elastic under the nourishment of the warm feeling, and even widened slightly. The unprecedented lack of obstruction within the areas that the warm feeling passed through told Hui Yu Hao that he was doing the right thing. The number of students who'd collapsed within Shrek Plaza was gradually increasing. Even the students, who'd been running at the very front, were starting to gradually be unable to persevere. The sounds of chainmail smashing into the ground occasionally echoed out from time to time. Another hour passed, with the time left until the bell rang getting closer and closer. There were only nine students left that were still running around Shrek Plaza. However, the person who'd been considered the bottom cushion from the start, Hui Yu Hao, was one of them. Ju Yi had been paying attention to Hui Yu Hao the entire time. She'd already been astonished when only two hours had passed. Based on Hui Yu Hao's physical strength and soul force, he should have reached his limit at two hours, no matter what the circumstances. However, he'd still managed to persevere. Although running at a constant speed did give some small benefits, his cultivation and physical condition were both right there. Could a person's willpower really be strong to this extent? Furthermore, he was still so young. Two more students collapsed, and when they did, they created a domino effect. A few students collapsed in succession following the duo, one of them just happening to bump into Wang Dong, who was next to him. Wang Dong stumbled, his already aching legs unable to persist any longer. As he fell down, his thoughts about persevering also collapsed. However, he'd run the greatest number of laps within the class, there was no one left who could exceed the number of laps that he'd run. There were still three people that were still running, one of which was Hui Yu Hao. After five minutes, the other two students also collapsed. The last person still running was actually Hui Yu Hao, the weakest person of class one. Although his steps were weak, and his running speed wasn't that quick, he'd still managed to persevere, even when everyone else had collapsed. This caused astonishment to appear on many students' faces when they looked at him. It was true that Hui Yu Hao had already reached his limit, and it was also true that the warm feeling caused by the mysterious heaven technique could nourish his body and relieve his weariness to a certain extent. However, in the end, it didn't make him stronger. He'd reached his limit again and again, but had clenched his teeth and endured it every single time. Hui Yu Hao understood that he was the weakest amongst the students of one, so he had to commit 200%, or even 300% of their hard work if he wanted to remain at Shrek Academy. And at this moment, tempering his body by reaching his limits could both help widen his passageways and increase his soul force. No matter what, he did his best to persist for every single moment. Persevere, persevere. Hui Yu Hao inwardly shouted to himself non-stop. At that moment, 
he didn't even any soul force left that he could pour into his spirit eyes to stimulate himself and sober up his mind. Gradually, he himself began to sound out the chant that he was using to support himself. Mother, mother. This was all for the sake of his mother's last wishes, for the sake of being able to retrieve his mother's remains from that place one day, for the sake of washing away his mother's humiliation and avenging her, no matter what, he had to persevere. Hui Yu Hao's footsteps were extremely heavy. His legs and body were trembling uncontrollably. However, he didn't fall down. Under such difficult conditions, he still repeated the machine-like motions of raising his leg, putting it down, raising it back up, and putting it back down once again. The disdainful look that the students, who'd now fallen, had been looking at him with gradually disappeared. The power that a role model provided was mighty. They started to pull themselves back up, one by one, before blankly staring at Hu Yu Hao's figure as he persevered. After being stunned for a brief moment, Wang Dong was the first to continue running after Hu Yu Hao. However, he didn't overtake him this time around. With Wang Dong leading, a second, and then a third person gradually began to start following him. Gradually, all of the students from class 1 clenched their teeth and raised their legs, which were already stiff to the point that they felt dead, to continue running. Zhu Yi was moved. Of all the time she'd been teaching, it was extremely rare that she'd be moved by the performances of her students. However this time, she'd truly been moved. This was because of Hu Yu Hao, and in turn was also because of the 90 students who'd climbed back up to follow him. This was no longer a simple exercise that could temper their bodies, this was a tempering of their minds. Zhu Yi could visibly see their determination within their exhausted facial expressions. The results of this class were far, far greater than what she'd imagined. Zhu Yi slowly took a deep breath, then beckoned towards the distance. A white-clothed male arrived as if he was floating on air. He arrived by Zhu Yi's side with what seemed to be a few light steps. After nodding towards her, he turned towards the students. His dazzling soul rings rose up from his feet one by one. There were two yellow ones, two purple ones, and three black ones. He actually had seven soul rings. Soul Sage. This was actually a Soul Sage ranked expert, who was above the 70th rank. He was already approaching the peak of Soul Masters. Furthermore, he only looked to be around 30 years old. Only, the vicissitudes visible within his eyes didn't match his youthful outer appearance. He raised his hands, and a gentle shade of green, a leaf, suddenly began to grow from his palms. His seventh soul ring flashed brightly as it revolved around him, but the students were only able to see his body flash once before it unexpectedly disappeared. The green leaf grew wildly, and in the blink of an eye, the leaf unexpectedly turned into an enormous tree that was extremely tall. A cool breeze seemed to blow past them. Then, dark green leaves began to fly out from the enormous canopy of the enormous tree. Exactly 91 leaves landed lightly on the bodies of the students from class 1 not one more, and not one less. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.